In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to build this PDF generator that whenever you submit a form, it will create a contract for your clients. So let's get straight into it. All right. So all you got to do is fill out the form here. You click submit. And once it is submitted, it starts the workflow. It's going to copy this mock contract template and it's going to create a custom PDF that looks just like this with the data that we put in. So as you can see here, it puts the client's name. Uh, it puts the when the agreement will start, uh, how long it will last, uh, the price, the fee, and basically everything that we filled out in the form, it will automatically create it in the contract. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in the document here. So basically, this is the template. What we have is uh, just variables like date, client's uh, company name, uh, start date, contract duration, and it's basically just all variables. And how it works is it creates a copy of this template and just replaces all the words with what you put in to the form. So now I'm going to break down exactly how to build this step by step. All right. So to build this, all we're going to do is start with a on form submission module, which you write an it and form trigger and it will be right here. Then for the title, we'll say uh, generate contract. Um, and then what we'll want to do is I'll give you guys access to the template here so you guys can make a copy and basically we're going to click add form element and for field name, we're just going to put all um, the variables here. So for example, clients uh, company name. So we're just going to copy that. We're going to put it into here. Forgot the C there. Uh, and then we're going to keep adding those one by one. So I'm just going to do start date take that, add it here. And we're going to do this for all the variables so that when we fill out the form, we get all the information necessary to replace the variables with the correct information to make it look fully customized for your clients. So I'm just going to do this and I'll be right back when I'm done. All right. So I just added all of them. And once you add all of them, you can just quickly execute the step. And then we want to fill this out with mock data. So we can put the start date as sup, uh, September 20, 2025. We'll do client's name. We'll do Fred's uh, company uh, contract duration. Let's do six months. Uh, monthly fee, let's do 3,500 late fee to clients name, we'll do Fred, and then title we will do CEO. And then you submit that form. And then as you can see, all the data comes in as a JSON format, I'm gonna pin this data so that when we save and we refresh, uh, the data is always going to stay there. So once we have uh, all this data that came in, all we're going to do is we're going to do a copy file. So just write Google Drive and then here we're going to do copy file. We take this node right here and we want to copy the file uh, that we have uh, with the mockup template. So we're basically just going to take the name of the mock contract here. And so as you can see the mock contract, just like that. And for file name, we can just write contract four and then put it, make sure it's on expression. Cause then we could use variables and we're just going to do clients name drag and drop. So now you can see contract for Fred's company and we're going to execute that step as well. Now what that's going to do is that's going to make a copy of our template uh, right here. So if I refresh, uh, as you can see, now we have contract for Fred's company, and this is just going to be a copy of our blank template. So it's not filled out yet. So what we're going to have to do next is we go back to the N8 and flow, and then we're going to have to do a update. So we're going to write Google Docs, and then we're going to do update a document. And then for the document, we have the ID right here. So we can just drag and drop. This is the one we just created. So it's a variable. We drag and drop that. And then all we're going to do is delete this and we're going to do an action right here. So the action is going to be find and replace. 
And all we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the old text with our on form submitted new text. But the first one that we did create was a date. So for this, we wanna grab this and we're gonna put it in as the old text. And for the new text, we're actually gonna put a special uh, JSON format code here. And that's just so that we get um, today's date and it's just gonna be like this. So it's gonna be a uh, dollar sign now dot to format with uh, these letters just like that. And then as you can see, you'll get today's date and then we'll keep adding here, find and replace. So the old text, we're just gonna again, have to go one by one and uh, go through each thing. Oh, I skipped one. So we're gonna take client's company name, make sure it's uh, the exact same. So you want it to be the exact same. So it matches. And then the new text, we're just going to open this and we're going to drag and drop the variable here so that it matches. So I'm just going to do this for each one. Uh, and then I'll be back when that is done. All right. So as you can see, I basically just took all the variables and made sure to replace them with what we permitted, uh, what we submitted in the form right here. So as you can see, monthly fee, late fee, client name, I just drag and drop to make sure they all connect. And then if we execute this step right here, you can see that the change has been done. So now if we go to our contract for Fred's company here, as you can see, it has updated. We have the client's name, Fred's company. Uh, we have the date of the contract starting. Uh, how long it's going to last, the amount of money, uh, the monthly retainer, the fee, and all the information is updated in the sheet. And then to turn it into a PDF, all we're going to do is we're going to need to do a Google Drive here. And we want to download the file. So uh, from here, we could grab the ID because we already have the document ID here. So we're just going to put the document ID and uh, oops, I forgot a step. So what we want to do is we want to do a put output field and we also want to do a add a conversion. And instead of HTML here, we want PDF. So let's just re execute that. And now it created a PDF as you can see. And then all we got to do is another Google Drive node and we want to upload file. And then we already have the data coming in. So that's the PDF. And then for file name, it's we're going to do the same thing. So we'll do a contract for and then we'll just take the variable of the client's name right here. And it's going to look like that. So that's good. And then we want to update uh, the PDF generator. So we click that and we're just going to execute the step right here. And that should basically, uh, create the PDF right here. So now we have the PDF contract for Fred's company, all perfectly filled out with their clients info and ready to send to them. So if you guys found this helpful, I'm going to put all the resources into the school. So if you guys want this workflow and also uh, to copy the Google Doc, uh, I'm going to put that in my school so you can join for free and copy the whole workflow and try it for yourself. Uh, other than that, if you found this useful, please leave me a like, subscribe and on to the next one.